<clears throat> What's poppin' T subs and T squad and happy Thursday morning to y'all, child. So listen, I, I guess I owe y'all an explanation <laughs> as to why y'all ain't seen me talk about these salt wives since episode eight. <laughs> and, you know, the reunion was last night. And I'm guessing some of y'all may be wondering. Well, the honest, honest is, and I know I said I started this franchise for the beginning because I did. And you know what I'm saying? Me and Heather got a little rapport with each other, which is cool. You know, she's the first housewife that, you know what I'm saying? Actually really like took the time out to like watch the review and comment back and follow me and all that good stuff. And I said, you know what? She cool people. So because of which I was just going to stay with it. But y'all know how I am. When something is not in interesting or entertaining, I let it the hell go. And not even for Heather could I continue to sit and waste my brain cells. <laughs> waste my brain cells. No shade, Heather. Waste my brain cells watching these, these salt wives this season. It, it was just... It, it just won't y'all season, Salt Wives. And before y'all make it a Mary thing, Mary Cosby not being here had absolutely nothing to do with why this season was tied and through. It just was. Like, nothing was really going on that was interesting other than Shawshank and her case. Other than that, there was really nothing else too interesting that happened. I mean... Lisa and Meredith been eye against since last season. That ain't changed. Um, you know, yeah, we got to see Dana, you know, and, and, and Dana's cool. You know what I mean? Um, and other than Fran getting a mysterious black eye, um, I mean, it really wasn't much. No shade. It wasn't much. And then I heard from a little birdie. Her name is Bully B. <laughs> Shout out to Really B, my sis. She heard grumblings. This is all alleged, but she heard grumblings that they canceled <laughs> the Salt Wives for season four. I mean, if they did, I wouldn't blame them for damn doing it. No shade. I, I don't. I don't know what Salt Wives need. I don't know. Maybe they need to move Heather to Heather and Meredith to 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 Las Vegas, and they start a franchise around right there. You know, Rare House Wise of Las Vegas. I'd be down for that because these Utah Wise ain't got ish going on. The people is tired of it. The people ain't watching it. The people ain't featuring it. But um, yeah, that's why y'all ain't seen me since episode eight. And even then, I was skipping episodes. So after a while, I stopped lying to myself. But we head to the reunion. And um, I said I was gonna come back for the reunion, so that's what this is. So the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, season three, episode 15, reunion part one, part one. I really hope there's only two parts. Y'all don't need three. The gag is y'all put out half of, half of the damn season in part one. So I, I really hope the next part is just it. But anywho, the ladies arrive on the Sprinter van, which I thought was cute. You know, I, I, I get the gag behind them arriving on a Sprinter van onto the set. And the set was, I, I was here for the set. I was here for the set. The set, the set was, you know, Gothic, medieval, you know, Catholic priest, you know, that, that type of feel, you know, with the church and, you know, all that stuff. So I, I was here for the background. So Shawshank not being here because of her court case, child, and her changing her plea. And what's so funny is all of them on the stage trying to act like they were so shocked that she changed her plea to guilty, which I was shocked because half of y'all just last season just knew her ass was guilty. All right. Lisa, you knew she was guilty. OK, friend, you knew she was guilty. All right. Meredith, you knew she was guilty. Now, all of a sudden, y'all want to sit on stage and act so shocked. Don't act shocked now. Moving on. Meredith and Lisa's broken relationship and uh, how Meredith feels about it now. And Meredith says that they could have moved forward, but Lisa is still spreading lies. And then they started showing a text message of, I guess, Lisa trying to explain herself. But in the midst of her explaining herself, I guess Meredith caught her in some lies in that or whatever. And that happened after season two. 
And that's why she just can't move forward with Lisa. Listen, because now I, I could just be honest. Since I ain't been here all season, I could just be honest. Meredith, I feel sorry for you, but then again, I don't. Because it's like I say, it, it, I'm more than sure that, and you've admitted that you've been around Lisa when Lisa was doing backhanded, underhanded, cannabis stuff to other people, especially to some of these ladies on the cast. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you're not going to sit here and convince me that you never saw her for her works. You're just not going to convince me of that. If she could do it to other people, what would make you any different? That's the way I view things. You know what I'm saying? If she could, if she could do other folk like that, then I, I mean, come on. Eventually, I, let, let, let's, let's just be honest. And that's what friend was talking about later on in the episode when they say it, we all fine and cool with it. When it's done to other people, but then once this happened to you or somebody else that you may like, then that's when you have a change of compass. And it's just like, and you get all of this morality about yourself and you like, nah, I don't want to do this and I don't want to do that. I, I'm just, and I, and y'all know, I like Mary, but, um, you know, we calling a thing a thing, but we're going to move on. It's obvious that they have turned this into Meredith and Heather versus Lisa and Whitney. And I never thought that that would have happened. And I'm just going to be real. Um, I, I never would have thought that that was going to happen. And Meredith bringing up Lisa's rumors first on camera. Um, I think Meredith was the first one to bring bring the rumors up on camera, I think. But be clear. Whitney, listen, Whitney, I'm still trying to like you, but you got like, I, I, my, listen, I got my left foot out the door. All right. I was in March band. We always stumped on our left foot. And at this point, I got my left foot out the door of not liking you because it's, it's, I don't know. I, it, it, like, for me, and I'm gonna be real with you, Whitney. For me, it just always seemed as if you would move heaven and earth just to be in the same room with Lisa. Now that Lisa has no no other friends up there, so she has no choice but to be cool with you. And and you're just all down for it, and you stand it down with her and beside her ten toes down. And I'm like, well, damn, because I remember first season. She felt like you were so much beneath her and you didn't deserve to be on the same stage or breathe the same air or be on the like she didn't consider you one of Utah's finest and greatest and ones a socialite and all the rest of this stuff. Like she looked at you as a comment H O R E. All right. I can't say it, but that's what she looked at you as. And the gag is so did the church because of how you and Justin Justin got together. Remember, he was married. Justin, Jason, I think it's Justin. Ain't, it, ain't her husband named Justin? I think it's Justin. Give me together in the comments if I'm wrong. But you pulled the Mia, got your G, you pulled the Porsche, got your silver back. Uh huh. These men that was married and had somebody like you, like, I mean, I'm, I'm just saying. She brought you back to all of that to here it is now. You just so happy to be sitting beside her and being cool with her and all of the rest of it. Like, I mean, look. Whatever. I ain't here to tell you who to be friends with. You're a grown woman, but. <sighs> Moving on. Um, Lisa calling Meredith the pill popper. Dear God. <laughs> I mean, listen, <laughs> she is a rich white woman living in a rich white neighborhood. You know, I, I mean, I listen, girl, look, the gag is, you know what? I ain't even finna go there. <laughs> Moving on. Lisa says that she heard the rumor from Shawshank and Shawshank has been spreading rumors about everybody. And I do believe that. I do. I do believe that. I believe every word of that. I do. So Angie K, Angie H and Dana joins the stage. Um, shout out to the three of y'all. Dana, let me tell you something. You kept fooling around with them shoulder pads you don't need to wear. All right. Uh, you know, I mean, for me, I felt like you came up there a little overly dressed because everybody else came up there in real cute evening freakum dress gowns. And you came up there like you was coming to the Met Gala with all that BS you had and you couldn't even handle it on your shoulders. Get it together for season if it's a season four. Because remember, word on the street is they canceled it. Anywho, 
Um, so Dana telling Shawshank she's friends with an informant in the, in her case. And I was with Bravo Andy. Like, why would you even say something like that? Like, <laughs> and your whole thought process is, well, maybe she'll tell the truth. Maybe she'll do come clean. Maybe this, maybe that. Dana, you just messy and you don't like her. Moving on. Unseen footage of Dana reading Shawshank down to the ground. Baby, let me tell you something. She read Shawshank for filth, honey. To the point where Shawshank just looked at her and couldn't have nothing to say. I bet she couldn't with that nasty gay ass read that Dana put <laughs> that Dana put on her. I know Dana hang around some gay. She hang around some punks because the way that she shut Shawshank down with the quickness. And I was here for it. I was. I wish I watched that episode. <laughs> that would have sent me over. Anywho. Angie H says that she never told Whitney and Heather that Lisa slept with a rich friend for Utah Jazz tickets. Here we go back with this again. And Whitney is still holding on to the fact that Angie H was saying that Lisa gave a blowjob for tickets. What well, now that it's story. Now the story is that her giving somebody a blowjob for those tickets was a, a, a twist in the story or somebody twisted it. I think she said Heather, I think she said Heather twisted it by, by you know, calling it a blow, whatever, whatever. Listen, again, I say, Whitney, you moving real funny. You moving real fugazi and I'm about to not like your ass. Like, and, and that's real talk because I don't understand how you could flip on somebody that was genuinely your friend for somebody that could not stand the sight of you. Again, I say thought so little of you and felt like you were so much beneath them, you, your family, your churn, all that. Like, and you just so happy to be up under her skirt. And it's just, that's that little girl that Mary Cosby was calling out. Now I see what Mary is talking about because I, I just, whatever. Um, moving on. Lisa creating fake accounts comes up and Angie H and Meredith both confirm that Lisa does that. And Lisa does do that. So Lisa, um, I know I saw a lot of other people reviews and they was giving her husband the business for basically making a faint account just to come at Lisa. And I get that. But at the end of the day, Lisa has done that to other people. So I'm not mad that she got that back. So it just is what it is. It, it is what it is. Yeah, he's too grown to be making fake accounts to come at somebody. I get all of that. Yes, he is. But oh, well, when it comes to Lisa, oh, well, moving on. Shawshank pouring wine on Angie K head. And Heather says that that was a fun bridge move. Y'all y'all know we can't cuss. So bridge, you know, use your imagination. That was a fun bridge move that she thought was funny. And of course, Angie didn't think that was funny. And I ain't either. I mean, I don't think it's funny to pour water on nobody head. You know, I, 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 I mean, you know, and if that person, she got the right to not find it funny, Heather. I'm just saying. I mean, I, I get what you're saying, but no. Okay. No. All right. It, it, no. No. Keep all hands, feet, and objects and water to yourself. Water, wine, liquor, whatever you got. Keep it all to yourself. Moving on. Um, Angie K telling Lisa that Mer what Meredith said about an FCC filing. And this is when Heather came up and said it's funny when it is it's okay for them to do the BS to people when you don't like them. But then when it happens to you or somebody that you know, then it's wrong. So which one is it? We can't pick and choose. And I was on Heather's side with that. I was. <laughs> I was. I was on Heather's side with that. And all of these franchises do that. They pick and choose what to be outraged about. They pick and choose when it's okay to F over somebody and when it's not. Like, it is what it is, child. Moving on. Heather and her black eye mystery. Um, listen, the people really think Shawshank hit her. <laughs> the people really think Shawshank hit her. Angie felt like, um, well, who was it? Was it Angie H or Angie K? I think it was Angie K or Angie H. One of them damn Angie's girl. One of them felt like they were scissoring each other and one of them um, queeved a little too hard. And that's how she got that black eye. Look, I don't know. Like I say, 
it seems to be the thing on the housewives where all of these women just want to be bull daggers. I don't know what it is about the housewives franchise, but all of the women up there want to kitty click with each other doing one season or two. So that don't shock me. OK, I don't know. Maybe Shawshank was preparing herself for the for the clinker. I, I, I don't know, you know, but. <sighs> Friend, how did you get the act? How did you get the black eye? Did she hit you or did she not? Was y'all scissoring each other and, 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 and her foot knocked you upside your head? Like, what happened? Like, something happened. I mean, I hear you when you say you blacked out. And I know you can black out. But listen, because Heather say that she don't remember and she blacked out and because she apologized if she made anybody feel away or made production look away or whatever, I'm just going to believe it. All right. I'm going to I'm going to turn a blind eye and um, to her black eye and how she don't remember how she got it. Um, w one of the three things happened, friend. DM me. Let me know what happened. You know, I ain't going to tell nobody. Anywho, that's it. That's all I got. I managed to pull 16 minutes out of this, mostly because I was gagging. Like I say, that was basically the whole damn season. I, I really hope the second part is the last part. I really hope it's not a part three. Um, but yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think. And um, mm -hmm. I'll see y'all again tonight for, what's today, Thursday? Growing Up Hip Hop. Lord Jesus. I'm gone. Bye.